The book has spent more than 166 weeks on the New York Times bestseller list. Now the film adaptation of Where the Crawdads Sing is about to hit theaters. So if you loved the book, no doubt you will love the film. It's produced by Reese Witherspoon and follows the book very closely. I had a chance to take part in the press junket and talk to the stars of the new movie along with the author who never could have guessed that her first novel would be a smashing success. I had a family once. <laughs> they called me Kaya. Actress Daisy Edgar Jones, you play Kaya in this new movie. Are you ready for what this movie could potentially do to your career and maybe even your life? I, I haven't really thought about it. I just, just hope that lovers of the book will enjoy it. That's kind of, that's, and you know, and those who haven't read the book will also enjoy it too. So yeah, kind of wild. <laughs> Daisy, do you find that nature is healing for you in your real life, kind of like it is for your character, Kaya? I live in London, which is quite a, a loud, noisy city and everyone's sort of rushing everywhere. No one walks everywhere. Everyone's sort of rushing. So I think, you know, taking time out and going to quieter places is really helpful to get some perspective. Sometimes I feel so invisible. I wonder if I'm here at all. You are. Actor Taylor John Smith, you play Tate. What was it like shooting in an actual marsh and dealing with the weather and all of the elements that came along with that? You know, obviously, you know, gators bumping up against you while you're in a take and you're, you know, trying to stay in it aren't ideal, but uh, I mean, it's, it comes with the territory. Hello, Miss Kyle. I hear y'all by muscles. Actress Michael Hyatt, you play Mabel, who really is Kaya's rock, the only person that she has to lean on at times. But what does that message mean to you in your real life as far as being the constant for somebody else? That is the human experience. At the end of the day, that's all we have. What we, what of ourselves are we willing to share to lift up somebody else? At the end of the day, there is no thing, there is no money. It is the legacy of who you have helped in your life that will live on beyond you. We also have the author of the book, Delia Owens, joining us. Delia, when you were wrapping up the story, did you have any idea of the incredible success that this would have? I had no idea. I mean, this crazy book and this crazy title, Where the Crawdads Sing, I mean, it's not really a very, you know, soft and fuzzy um, title. So, I no, I did not expect this. Delia, one of my favorite parts about your personal story is that this is your debut novel and you are in your early 70s. Talk about this level of success a little bit later in life. Age improves life. And to me, there's no better time to write a book than at a time when you've ex had a lot of experiences and you gain that throughout life. And so it's a plus to be older, I think. Well, I'm going with that. I don't have a choice. <laughs> I'm going with that. What a fun cast. Such a good cast. If their energy about the project it, it, it comes true on film, it, it's going to be spectacular. So we've seen some of the main characters and a couple of other things, but this is going to launch them into sort of that superstardom status, no doubt, because it's that good. Remember The Notebook and how popular that movie sure. was? This is on par with that, in my opinion. This is really, really good, even if you haven't read the book. So Where the Crawdads Sing hits theaters nationwide this Friday. By the way, for the author, she is now working on that, another book. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> she could kind of kick back and just relax and rest on her laurels, but yeah, it's probably time to get another one out She's there. She's back to work.